All right, so guys, you've been asking for it, you've been waiting for it, you've been crying for it, you've been sending me messages about it over and over and over again. So here it is, the people that carry 40. But before we do, let me put things into perspective. For those of you who are wondering what the hell I'm talking about in terms of the people who carry 40, I'll explain. I started a series of videos on my YouTube channel where I basically kind of poked fun at different types of people based on the type of cal caliber bullet they carried in their carry gun. As anybody knows who does a mighty come of research, people tend to interject their personalities into the caliber they decide to carry. It becomes so important, in fact, that you can spark a World War III on the internet about yeah. the differences between the 9mm, the 40, the 45, the 357 SIG, 454 Casul, you name it. So I thought I decided to have a little fun and make a little parody video and mock those people that carry those particular mm -hmm. calibers, as well as myself. So with that, here is the people that carry 40. The 40 Smith & Wesson is a good round, I guess. Depends really who you talk to. The 40 is the gun world's version of the glass half empty, half full paradox. Talk to someone who doesn't carry a 40, and they'll tell you it's the worst of both worlds. It's smaller than a 45 with sharper recoil than a 45, and not as powerful as a 10 millimeter. However, talk to a 40 carrier, and they'll tell you it's the best of both worlds. But don't let them fool you. Most 40 carriers are just confused about their caliber identity. Some used to carry 9mm and others 45, but they spend most of their days wishing they had the other. So, in an attempt to hide their confusion, they settle on the 40 and act like that makes them the smartest person in the room. They think they have it all figured out, when all they've really done is read a couple of forums and articles and feel like they're above the caliber debate. When in reality, most of them are middle children with middle children issues and suffer from what I like to call habitual compromising disorder. I know some of you are like, who does he think he is criticizing 40 carriers? Well, I used to carry a 40. And I don't doubt it's a capable round. I just don't like feeling like my gun's trying to kill me every time I shoot it. So go ahead, call me a recoil sensitive girly man, but I'm not the one trying to straddle both sides of the fence. You can't have it all, you know. Or maybe I'm just jealous that you guys get to have the best of both worlds. All right, so you have a little dream and now you're confused about your caliber identity and this makes you angry, but it's okay. Confused? Who said anything about being confused? If anything, what's confusing is the fact that you can't see that the nine millimeter is essentially anemic and the 45 moves slower than a bunch of pro gunners to a national gun registration party. That's what's confusing. This is good, this is very good. Okay, now I want you to Say it out loud. I'm caliber confused. It's okay to be confused in like two calibers. I love myself. Who's... I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You do know what the hell I'm talking about. You're confused about your caliber identity, and so you're being greedy and trying to have both. You keep saying I'm confused. I'm not confused. You're confused. I just wish you would stop trying to push this stupid caliber agenda down my throat and just understand that I like the 40 because it's the best of both worlds. I like both calibers. I like women. Sometimes I have dreams about Justin Bieber. No, I mean, I, I, I like the 40 because it's the best of both worlds. Like, are you trying to trick me? Right. Just don't know what to believe anymore. Like, I think the 9mm would do a good job. But then when I think about it, the 45 would probably do a better job. Like, what if it doesn't put, like, put the guy down and then, like, I run out of bullets and I don't have any more bullets than the 45? So then I'm just thinking, okay, maybe if I just get the 40, the 40 would be better because it's in the middle. But then I'm not really sure if the 40 is going to do a good job at stopping the guy either. I don't know. I'm just confused. You need a therapist. But you are a therapist. No, like a therapist who gives a damn. I carry a 357 SIG, and as far as I'm concerned, all of you are idiots. That's time.